Yo, Dave Basket here for Tech Jamo. Hi, I'm Faith from All Things Baking, and you're here on Tech Jamo. Yo, what is good, people? Ben from Lover of Tech. Hiya, I'm Tori, aka TJ Basque. I don't know, this is a King Boss. I'm representing for Tech Jamo. What's good, people? It's Cable. I'm Dan from Dan's Distillery. Yo, what up? It's your boy, Liam, aka Kizzy. Oh, what's up, guys? That guy, Wally, yeah. Oh, what's good with the people? It's your boy, Cokes, here. What's going on, people? It's your boy, RB Keys. Hey, what's good, YouTube? Super Ninja 93 here. What's good, people? Myself streamed you online. I'm nervous as hell. What one, everyone? Ray more two hands, but you could just call me Ray. It's your guy, higher pitch. Yo, what's going on? It's Daughters. Happy New Year. Yes, yes, what's good people? Tech Jamo, you done know the vibes already. 2022, happy new year. Hope you guys had a good Christmas and good new year's celebration. But look, listen, we're trying to do things a little different on the channel today. Every time a man, a man makes a video, it's always about something that I'm recommending or something that man has been sent to review. But me personally, I'm more interested in multiple voices instead of just listening to one voice. So hear what man is saying now. I went to go and ask my favorite YouTubers and my favorite streamers what their number one piece of gaming technology is, yeah? Something that they use every single time they stream, every single time they're gaming, something that they cannot go without. And this is what they had to say. Yo, what's going on? Today's basket for Tech Jammer. I would say that my favorite games console in terms of tech is going to be the PS5. The fact that it can go up to 8K, the quality of you know this device, even as a media center for streaming, the likes of Netflix, Apple TV, all the platforms, um, the quality is really good. The load times for the games as well, down to the controller, the immersiveness. Um, it's a game changer, man. So I definitely say that. PS5 has got my, my uh, trophy for the year. As you can see, I'm a baker, not a gamer. However, there is one thing that I do use, and that is the PS5 media remote. And it's amazing. I use it to watch my Netflix, Spotify, um, YouTube, to watch all my recipes on there. The remote is just easier to use um, than the controller. I find the controller is quite annoying. And also you have to charge them, my base was using them, so it's just quicker for me to navigate. And a big shout out to Tech Jammo, my guy, and the whole Tech Jammo fam and everyone else that's on this collaboration. But yeah, I think out of everyone, man, I'm the most least gamer related person, but you know, I'm still a gamer at heart. And as of this recording, I just managed to snag an Xbox Series X finally after a year, but still hunting for that PS5. But you know, if we're gonna pick my favorite game in tech of the year, it probably has to be down to this Xbox Elite Series 2 controller. I'll be honest with you, man, as a predominant Windows user, my go-to game when I get a chance to play it on Xbox is Gears. Gears 5, man, the whole Gears franchise has been my baby since the Xbox 360 when it was first introduced. So yeah, man, this controller is probably one of the best controllers I've held in a long time man it just makes me want to pick it up i like the fact that it has the inbuilt battery the additional button triggers at the back the feel of it it just really feels on point and the fact that you can just detach the d-pad change it to different ones and the thumbsticks as well you can actually change them as well i just love that flexibility so for me it probably has to be down to the elite series 2 controller from xbox so yeah simple not anything new as such, but you know what? That's got to be my go-to gaming tech for the year that I've enjoyed using throughout the year. Hi, I'm Tori, aka TJ Bass, and I'm here with Tech Jammer to tell you that my favorite piece of tech is my MSI GF75 gaming laptop. I love that I can stream and game from this laptop at the same time, whilst also maintaining great quality and speeds. As you can see, it has a backlit keyboard in the color red, which is my personal favorite. And in the time I've taken to tell you about this amazing laptop, it's already started up. Today I'm representing for Tech Jamo, and I'm gonna be speaking about my favorite piece of gaming tech. What is it you might ask? It's this thing here. It's called a Zim Apex. Now what it is, it allows me to plug a mouse and a keyboard into any console and play using a mouse and keyboard. 
I came from PC gaming and this controller thing on me, it really doesn't work. So this is what I have to use to play my games. Peace out, blessed love and respect. What's good people, it's Cable. You can find me on all the socials at it's underscore cable. I'm a variety content creator and host. Jamo asked me what my favorite piece of gaming equipment is right now. My Nintendo Switch Pro Controller. It's as if the Nintendo gods crafted this specifically for my hands. The grip is good, the feel is great, the sleek design, and it just slots in and I'm just ready. Best controller that I have ever played with and I've been gaming since the Nintendo 64 oh no the Sega Mega Drive this right here this is the best controller and it's my favorite piece of gaming tech right now get involved I'm Dan from Dan's Distillery and I'm here with Tech Jamo to say my favorite piece of gaming tech has to be my Nintendo Switch I mean look at this all these games all in one place Monster Hunter Smash Bros Animal Crossing What's not to love? It's always by my side, so it has to be Nintendo Switch for me. My favorite bit of tech out here is the Elgato Stream Deck. So what I like about the Elgato Stream Deck is this thing is an extremely robust bit of equipment right here. You might be thinking to yourself, oh, you're doing a certain like macros. No, you're doing a lot more. This thing does more. This is the thing that you think, I don't need it until you get it in your life. You're like, damn. Setting up macros for pretty much anything is amazing even up to launching up games i actually have it so i can actually view my hardware info while i'm gaming so i can actually see it right there and then don't have to take up any real estate on my screen not only that but now there's a store for the elgato stream deck where you can simply just go on and install some plugins well that's all worth for me thanks peace jamal's asked me for my favorite gaming equipment um, i've got a few i've got a few obviously i think I would say my PlayStation 5, but unfortunately I'm not. I'm gonna say my PC. My PC is everything. I use my PC for everything really. Stream, gaming, coding, editing, creative stuff. That's my PC. I go to my PC for everything. I can run Forza 5, Halo Infinity while streaming with very minimal problems. Yeah, I'm gonna go with my gaming PC. Thank you very much guys. Oh, what's goody with the you people? It's your boy Colts here and welcome back to Tech Jammer's channel. Now, I've been asked what's my favorite piece of gaming equipment. Now, this was a tough one because I use quite a bit subject to what consoles or what I'm doing. Um, but I didn't want to go with the obvious and I'm going with the Elgato Key Light Air. Now, the reason why I'm going with this is because for someone like myself where I've been doing Let's Play series slash streaming, I've noticed whether or not I'm using from a cheap webcam to a mobile phone to even an Elgato webcam, for example, um, lighting is just important. It just makes the ultimate difference when showing yourself um, on projects or streaming. And with this, it's just been absolutely amazing since uh, the previous one I used. I can change the brightness, the temperature. I can do all from my phone, through the desktop. It's just been an amazing piece of equipment which yeah i just i cannot live without it now especially doing what i do so um yeah i'm gonna go with that one because i just feel like sometimes lighting may be overlooked particularly when you're starting out what's going on people it's your boy rb keys and let's have a quick chat so i've got plenty of gaming equipment in this room but if i had to choose just one thing funny enough it wouldn't be a piece of gaming equipment it would be this chair this chair right here is amazing but I actually got this um, this chair during the lockdown last year. I was doing a lot of work from home. As a lot of you know, I'm a musician and a gamer, a pretty hardcore gamer. So I needed something comfortable to sit on. My old chair was worn out and um, I heard a lot about Secret Labs and their equipment. So I thought, why not? I'll bite the bullet. I bought the chair, it got delivered on time, thankfully and um, I've never looked back since like this is I use this for everything I use it when I'm eating I sleep in it it's so comfortable this memory foam pillow right here put you to sleep um, I use it when I do my music production I use it in my zoom meetings just it's an overall really really good chair like I couldn't recommend it enough to be honest with you um, yeah secret labs big ups to you 
Hey, what's good YouTube? Super Ninja Knight 3 here. So I think my favorite piece of tech is to have to be undoubtedly the Nintendo Switch at the moment. Cause I just feel like it's just, it's just a thing. It's just there, you know? Man can just play on the TV with a dot, or man can just take it out and just play on the go. Play some Smash, Super Smash Brothers and, you know, keep it moving. So catch me on my YouTube or Twitch, Super Ninja 93. That's what I do. Hit me up. What's good, people? Myself, StreamView Online, here to tell you about one gadget that has been useful to me this year, and it must be this, yeah? HDMI video capture card, which I got for £16 off Amazon, which was worth its money in gold. I will tell you that it works a charm. You can connect it to OBS, Streamlabs, and all you gotta do is connect any HDMI cable whether it be from your camera your playstation xbox etc but what what i will tell you you might want to get a hdmi output cables but obviously you can connect various other cables so for instance if you want to see screens such as your tv or another monitor it will come in handy so make sure you get that i'm nervous as hell what well, one everyone ray more two hands but you can just call me ray welcome back to my guy tech jamal's channel for whatever reason today He's drawn me out and asked me to review my favorite piece of gaming tech, hardware, whatever you want to call it. So let's get into this. So if you must know, my favorite piece of gaming hardware is this Platinum Nintendo GameCube controller. And I can hear you asking. So hold on, Ray, with the plethora of gaming tech that you have at your disposal, your favorite is that dusty Nintendo GameCube pad. Yes. Yes. And I'm going to tell you why car i've had this one for about maybe 12 years and to this day i'm still using it to wipe the floor with man and smash bro jamo you know yeah not only that but obviously it's got a lot of nostalgia from wiping the floor with man on smash bros melee on the gamecube or switching out your character and mario kart double dash flinging them red shells just all around gamecube memories in general and like i said i've had this one for a minute so it's got a lot of sentimental value and it's still in perfect working order. So when you're ready for the smoke, Jamo or anyone, hit me up, I'm ready to go. Yo, what's going on? It's Daughters, and Tech Jamo asked me what my favorite gaming accessory is, and it has to be my Astro's Mixer Amp. The reason for this is simple, it's just convenient to use. When I'm playing games, I don't always have time to open up my Xbox settings to adjust how loud the game sounds over my Xbox party. So for me, the Mixer Amp fixes this. The red light means my microphone is muted, whereas a white light means I can be heard. The dial on the right is my mixer. This allows me to adjust how much game audio can be heard over my Xbox party, whereas the dial on the left is my volume control. There's also buttons on the front which allows me to download and set up pre-configured EQs, so depending on what game I'm playing, I can adjust the sound quality to have the most optimized sound available. For me, this is a win. You can change your settings on the fly, it remembers what you say as previously, and again, it just makes everything a lot easier and a lot more fluid when you're using it. Everybody, my name is Daughters. Thank you for listening. Take care. Peace. Yes, yes, yes. This is my chosen device. I have to be honest, you lot know cable management, the terrors, everything. It's a real problem. This has saved me. And it looks good. Like the design's amazing. Nylon braided wire, aluminium shell to help with the heat insulation. You know, this port that you can add additional devices and it's neat and it's plug and play you can put look how small you can pop this in your pocket and take it with you you forget it's there you just plug in your your cooling pad or whatever it is an additional device and there you are you can continue to give them that beat down that shriokin what seriously get one of these they also come in at eight port they go up to 12 i believe you can get one with the ethernet cable so it's not just this one this just suited my needs you can get ones that charge this also works with your phone so you can watch movies you don't lose anything the data transfer speed is up to 5g seriously and that's a wrap fam first of all can i just give a big shout to all the creators that were able or had time to get back to me for this video fam i love this kind of content where you've got real creators talking about their real experiences with gaming technology fam like nobody was paid for this nobody was sponsored this is just creator to creator 
friend to friend. Yo, what's on your desk? What's it saying, fam? Like, are you happy with it? All right, cool. If you want to make a video, let me know and we'll let the people know what they should really be getting from what people are really using so yeah man i love this kind of genuine content like this now if you didn't get to make it onto this time um don't worry about it fam man's gonna try and do more content like this throughout the year but anyway happy new year people blessings and all that and hopefully i'll catch you guys in the next one bless